In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use fake users in Blender. So I'll explain why fake users is useful and when you might want to use fake users. So you can use fake users with pretty much any of these drop downs right here, which have data inside Blender. So just for an example, I'm here in the shader editor. And so right here, if I click on the drop down, I have two materials. I have this blue material and this red material. And these textures have a basic material with this procedural magic texture. So right here on the drop down, I can see all the materials in my Blender file. And because this is data which I've created in Blender, there is this little shield icon right here. And so this is a fake user. And the fake user can also be used in some other places, like if I hop over to the texture painting, if I've added an image that I'm going to texture paint on, you can see right here, here is my painting image, and also right here, here's the fake user icon. And another example is if you have like geometry nodes, you can see here's the geometry nodes modifier setup, so this is the geometry nodes that I've added in the file, and also there's fake users right here. So pretty much any of these drop downs which have different data in Blender, you can use the fake users. So what are fake users? Well, if you click on the shield icon, that's going to turn the fake user on. You can see it's blue and it has a check mark. And when the fake user is turned on, it's going to make sure that it keeps this data in the Blender file, even if the Blender file isn't actually using that bit of data. So because I've turned on the fake user, if I click here on the drop down, you can see there's an F here next to this material. And that's also telling it that it's using a fake user. And why you might want to do this is because you might have some data in the Blender file, like this red material, and maybe you don't actually have this material applied to any object. Well, in that case, if you close the Blender file and then reopen it up, then Blender is going to remove this data because it's not actually using it. So first, I'll just save this Blender file by clicking File and Save and Save the File. So now that I've saved this file, I'm just going to close the Blender file and reopen it back up. All right, so I've just reopened up the Blender file again. And so if I now click on the drop down, you can see it still has both materials. And that's because there's the red material on this monkey and the blue material on this monkey. However, I'm gonna click on the red monkey and then let's scroll right over here and I'll click on the exit button to get rid of this material. So if I now click on the drop down, you can see we still have both materials, but you can see this one has a zero and that is telling us that the material is still in the file, but there is no object using that material. So now I'll press Control S to save the file again and I'm going to close the file and reopen it up. All right, so I reopened up the file, and now if I click here on the drop down, you can see our blue material is missing. So if you've created something like a custom material, but it's not actually added to any object, then when you close and reopen the Blender file, Blender is going to delete that data. So I'll just recreate the red material again. All right, so I'm just creating the red material, so we now have the red material again, and I can call this red. So this time I'm going to save the Blender file, but now what I'm going to do is click on this shield icon to add a fake user. So I can now click on the exit button. Button. And if I click on the drop down, you can see there's the blue one and then there's the red one and it has the F here and that's telling us that it has a fake user. So I will press control S to save the file again and then I will close the file and open it back up. And I've just opened up the file again, and so the monkey head doesn't have a material, but if I click on the drop down, the Blender file has saved that material within the data of the file. So now I can just add the red material. So that's why you'd want to use fake users. If you have some sort of data in the Blender file, like a material, but you want to make sure that Blender keeps the data even if it doesn't have a user. You can just turn on the fake user, and Blender will always keep that data in the file. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this helpful, and thank you for watching. And if you'd like to learn more Blender Quick tips, then definitely check out my Blender Quick Tips tutorial playlist. I'll have a link in the description and I'll put it right up there on the end screen. And if you'd like to help support me and this channel, then some great ways to do that are by checking out my Gumroad store and my Patreon page and the YouTube memberships. Those are great ways to help support the channel and I do appreciate your support. But I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching.